What's up guys, welcome to Visualization. Nestor Adriansen here again. Today I have a quick question for you. Did you know that we can create a report page and use it as a tooltip? Yes, in this tutorial, my friends, I'm gonna teach you how to do this in Power BI Desktop. So let's do it. For today's tutorial, I have four different points. We're gonna learn about tooltips. The second point here, we're gonna learn about how to customize tooltips also, we're going to learn about how to create tooltips based on report pages in Power BI Desktop. And finally, of course, as always, I have right here a nice case. Let's jump into the first point. So what are tooltips? Tooltips are an elegant way of providing more contextual information and detail to data points on a visual. As you guys can see here, we have right here a visual and by default, we can see a tooltip right here, eight year, 2016. And we also have premium about $77,000, right? So basically a tooltip gives you more information, right? Okay. Having this as a reference, let's go to the next point. So how to customize tooltips by default, we have just a basic tooltip right here. You guys can see a screenshot, actually two screenshots right here. These are basically the steps, right? So let's jump into Power BI Desktop and let's see how this thing works. So here we are in Power BI Desktop. And this is the first visual that we have created. I'm going to share with you guys this file as well. So please don't worry. So you can follow along as well. If we hover here, so automatically we can see date year and we also see premium, right? This is just a basic tooltip but we can also customize this. Let's see how this works. So let's select right here the visual. And then you guys can see right here this feature called fields. It's selected and let's go down here. There is an option called tooltips. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is go to the claim table right here and then let's select claim cost, for example, and drag it into this field. There you go. How about ship cost let's do that as well and also collected premium if we want right boom so now check this out see right there so we have more options right initially we had day year only and premium but now we have claim cost shipping cost and also collected premium so basically here we can add more fields right and remember here you can include categorical and numerical fields. And also you can even include measures. So please keep that in mind. So now let's say that we wanna see a different value here. For collective premium by default, we see the sum here for 2016, but we can also change this, let's see. So if we go to collective premium here, check this out. See by default is sum, but we can select average if we want. Let's do that real quick. Boom. So now when we hover over this visual again, see right there, now we see the average It's about $480 for 2016. That's how it works. You guys can use it. You can keep playing with this uh, information according to what you need. So now let's go back to our presentation. So now let's take a look at tooltips based on report pages in Power BI Desktop. As you guys can see here, you can create visually rich report tooltips that appear when you hover over visuals based on report pages you create in Power BI Desktop. By creating a report page that serves as your tooltip, your custom tooltips can include visuals, images, and any other collection of items you create in the report page. So here are the steps, basically three main steps here. You need to create a report tooltip page. You need to configure your report tooltip page. Finally, manually, you can set up a report tooltip, right? Now let's go to the next slide. All right, so here we have the case. The question is create a report tooltip page to visualize category and profits, and then link it to a visual. So our goal here is to create a report tooltip page and then link it to a visual. All right, so let's go back to Power BI Desktop and let's do this. Here we are in Power BI Desktop. See right there? Nothing, nothing happens there, right? Now let's create a new page. So after this, let's select this option right here, format, and then let's look for page size, okay? It's right here. 
So here's the option tooltip. Perfect. So after we do this, so let's go to view. And right here, we're going to select right here actual size. Perfect. All right. So now let's go to page alignment. And right here, we can select middle. There you go. Okay. So this is the tooltip that we're going to start creating, right? So the next thing that we want to do here is start creating our visual. So how this thing works. Let's select right here a visual. If you guys remember, so we are looking for category and also profit, right? Boom, there you go. We can rearrange this, right? We can do that as well, just to make this a little bit nicer. And then, what we're gonna do next here is to insert a car. And then let's select like profits. Mm -hmm. Right here. And then we can customize this a little bit better if we want. All right, so let's add a background here. So let's do that. There you go. Do you like it? I like it. Okay, so we have created our tooltip right here. So the next step here is to make this active, right? So the next thing that we want to do here is the following. Let's select right here the tooltip format again, and then let's go to page information. So it's right here. And then we can even change the name here if we want. Let's call this tooltip1. Then tooltip, we need to activate this. There you go. Now, this is available. The next step is to go back to our visual. Right. This is the visual where we want to place the new tooltip. The next thing that we want to do here is the following. Select right here the visual. And then go to Format. Scroll down. There's an option here called Tooltip. Let's activate this right there. And now, if you guys can see, this is by default report page, right? And then the page here that we want to select is tooltip one, which is right there. All right. So after we do this, let's see what happens. Are you guys ready? So let's check this out. There you go. See right there. So for this particular point between 2014 and 2015, here we have three categories, of course, kitchen, living room, and office, and we have the profits about a thousand dollars in profits, right? So if we want to see another data point here, let's see this right here. So we have about 1,365 in profits, right? How about this point right here? There you go. We only have two categories, living room and kitchen, and we have about $2,000 in profits, right? So that's how it works, guys. If you want to enrich your reports, if you want to enrich your visuals, if you want to see more information, you might want to use tool tips. So let's go back to our presentation and let's see what else we have. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave your comments or questions below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.